Cone Bella Mina, and here is a brand new Victoria 2 series that's going to replace the Russia playthrough that I just finished today. And for the first time in over a year, I'm going to do a new series on Pop Demand mod, one of my favorite mods. Because if you all remember, but of course, I'm sure you probably all don't, I did a um, playthrough on Pop Demand as Bavaria and Persia. However, what happened was, I can't remember exactly what it was because it's been like, I think it was like at the beginning of the year when this happened. There was something wrong with Victoria 2 that required me to reinstall the game. And I looked up before I had to do it and it said the uh, mods would still be there, the save files would be there. So I did that. I reinstalled it. And for some reason, the save files for um, Pop the Man got corrupted. So, And of course, for some reason, Pop the Man, the mod itself, got somehow corrupted. So I took me many months to refine one at work. Then I had to find out the problem with... Um, Oh, um, Victor um, Pop the Man did not work for point four. I mean, three four, which is the most recent version of Vicky. I had to downgrade to point three oh three in order to get this up and run. So, yeah, that was pretty annoying. So that was why the Bavaria and Persia playthrough never um got to be finished. But anyways, after coming back, I thought about like I spent like a half an hour thinking of what country I wanted to play as. I wanted to play a country that was uncivilized. I tried two options before I actually began filming. First, I thought about doing Naj, and I actually played a little bit of it to try and get like used to like its surroundings. I took over this, and then I tried to took over Holly over here, and let's just say the results did not go well, even though I had all the advantages and I somehow still lost, so I didn't want to do that. But then I thought of a country I've done before, not as a playthrough, but I've done a pretty good blown game like almost two years ago, even though I had some reservation about doing this because it's like kind of like an only other real option at the moment that I haven't really gotten to do. And that was China, which I am going to do, as I'm going to try and turn China into a great power, which would be pretty much almost a guarantee once you westernize because of that huge military power, and becoming the dominant power in East Asia since I already got Korea under my um, puppet. And then, of course, the main goal would be to take over Japan pretty much somewhat because I don't know if you all know, because if you probably don't know if you didn't follow my Twitter, two years ago, over two and a half years ago, actually, I posted a tweet when I made Play China on the original game without mods back in um, 2015 where I got into like, I think it was like the mid 1860s where I actually westernized Japan very quick, it was the quickest I ever did that too. I had all of Dainam I believe it was, I had all of Korea and I took over like half of Japan right here before I finally westernized into a great power so that was incredible. Maybe I'll post that pick up later if I find it again. Because I showed it on this um, Discord channel on, from Victoria 2 that I found the other day. Those guys, they are great. So I'm going to hopefully get... So hopefully nobody watches this too to help get my views and stuff up. So anyways, we're going to begin trying to um, westernize China here. Get the reactionaries in power. Since they're the only um, pro-military power in their I mean, political party in China at the moment. Raise the taxes raise the tariff. We don't even need military spending pretty much whatsoever at this point in the game since look at that army supply. It's just going to keep going up and up and up so it doesn't really matter. I think I'll cut the bureaucrats for a moment focus on education because look at that education. 1.1% literacy. That's pretty bad. Although we got 3.4 points of research. That's really good and all. So I am eventually going to take over Japan and in and, and that um, Chinese game I did on the regular game I did, I took over Korea first, and then I invaded Japan by going through Kyushu and just reinforcing my troops south, me northward. Invading Kyushu and just advancing north. Unfortunately, as you see, Japan is broken up, so, and of course, these islands like Kyushu are puppet states, which you cannot take over. You gotta go to war with Japan to break them away before you can do that, so, there's really only one option, and that's the opposite way. We're gonna have to invade from the north down as Hokkaido is part of Japan, so that's easy target right there. And since it's a colonial state, the infamy would cost so very low. And remember in Pop Demand, infamy costs, I mean infamy goes down quicker when you're in uncivilized state, so even if I get caught really soon doing something, that infamy will burn off in a few years, whereas it takes a long ass time normally. So anyways, we're gonna get the troops out of the way right here, because we're gonna go take over you first, which I did exactly when I first did this game off screen. Small population, but hey, 
I can't really take over Burma because of the British Serum. Dynam is too big to try and take in one go, so that's not a good idea. So we'll try and take over you first before we focus on Japan because we gotta get a navy. Although I'm pretty sure, actually we can invade from the north down through Hokkaido, we go through here, but I'd rather have a navy too to like add like extra reinforce and stuff, like add extra choke points. Alright, so in the meantime, as we wait for that, um, the, um, cause ability to form, we'll raise the cost of our ministry, um, education, as we're sending our troops down here. Oh yeah, that's another problem we gotta worry about, pop demand. Rob rebellions are much more likely to happen for a lot of countries, especially China, the Heavenly Kingdom, which I did not happen have happened to me at all when I played the China game on, that I mentioned earlier. So hopefully that won't happen this time around. But I've seen it happen many times with Pop the Man, and I've had it happen to me before too. And boy, did they fuck you up! Oh, Bakar took me to attack Afghanistan. That's another option too to maybe advance into Central Asia. But eh, I don't want to do that anytime soon. Although if I want to, I gotta think about soon because Russia and them they're gonna begin trying to like sphere and stuff. So that would be a problem. Unfortunately, this um cause the belly to attack China, I mean, um, attack you, will not be done probably anytime soon. Ooh! Research point boost! 20%! That's really gonna be helpful, and without any, um, um, militancy either. That's great. As we're gonna actually, um, begin building more cavalry, too. And, oh shit, speak of the devil, I almost forgot, too. Let's set, um, Port Arthur. Our waypoint for ships, not troops, though. And ha ha, we're gonna get a huge population boom, that's great. We're gonna set you as a waypoint for troops being deployed. And we're gonna start sending some more troops up into Manchuria as we're gonna begin moving to get ready to attack Japan. We just need these troops, that's it. We'll easily kill these troops over here. So let's see how much longer. It's two more months and we still haven't got caught yet. So we'll increase education, there we go. Ah, damn it. That happens a lot in um, Pop Demand, so I really shouldn't worry much about that. As our um, leadership points is going up almost pretty good for being uncivilized and not really spending much on the military. Nope, no, 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 wrong one. We want to do education. Alright, so I saw the ships were building this. Troops are like on the move and stuff. Just going to have to deal with it right there. We're going to put you guys over here. Alright, so now so we got more money. Education again. Unfortunately, China takes a long time. I actually think not only do I think it's not China, I think it's the whole entire pop demand on um, literacy takes a lot, a lot longer to build up. Unfortunately, and I gotta replace you infantry soon. Me, I'm irregulars with better troops. Oh yeah, those are the events that cause um, hep um the heavenly kingdom to appear much more frequently. So we gotta watch out for that too. Oh shit! I'm oh no 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 no! We're not gonna be able to supply that. Go over here instead. Hey, speed went up. That's nice, though, but as long as we don't get caught. Man, if we can get that huge infamy cost, I mean, this territory. Oh my god, we did it! We didn't get caught at all! Wow! Ain't that just lucky? Oh my goodness! I can't believe we didn't get caught. Alright, we're gonna invade you. Ask our puppets in Korea, Tibet, and Mongolia to help out, which they have no choice but to help out. So here we go. In to take you out. Wow, we're off to an even better start than I did when I first simulated. I mean, first practice, at least, because I got, like, almost all the entire infamy right there. And hey, that would make attacking Japan much quicker, too, because our navy's being built up, but we need the full 26 support before we could even consider attacking Japan. As the troops, unfortunately, are going to take a while before they get in. And, of course, in Pop Demand, too, costs go up during war and stuff, so we're unfortunately going to take a loss. But once the war ends, we're going to start gaining money. As you see, we're actually still gaining money right there, but we still haven't gotten in there yet. Our literacy is taking forever to just go up. Alright, so... Okay, we got like 18,000 right there. We'll leave them right there for the moment. Okay, here we go. We're finally going in. Unfortunately, I had to lose points for crossing the river. But, oh my god, are you kidding me? We're actually struggling. And we thankfully won right there. Holy crap. All because of no general. Oh my god. Thank god we had so many troops to um, over um, counterbalance that. Crap. All right, build more cavalry. We gotta get some. We definitely gotta get some um, tr um generals built very soon. Cause you remember my. Oh, that's right. You didn't. By the time you see this episode, you didn't see what happened at the end of um Cyan playthrough. So I'm not gonna mention that until that happens. All right. So, man, we're losing a lot of money. But the war will eventually end soon. As we almost got 50% occupied. 
We got 10 ships now. That'll support. When we get all 26, that would be almost 60,000. No, oh, um, almost 70,000 troops. So that we, we we really need that amount in order to get the war with Japan. Speaking of which, we better send some troops over there too. All right, we got enough right here, so we're gonna go up here, and I'm also gonna be a really ballsy move and send some troops right here over here. All right, we took you over. Ah, shit, we don't have diplomatic points, unfortunately, but I think... Oh, yeah, we can. All right, good. We can take you on. All right, we annexed you, and we're not going to extend slavery. So that was nice. We got that little chunk of territory right there. Now, the only problem is I forgot to mention, because I just remembered, in Victoria, on Pop Demand, unfortunately, a lot of countries like China, they are um, isolationists, and so that means we gain no diplomatic points at all. So how do we come on? How do we get rid of isolationism? We have to westernize and get this reform right here. It's really cheap though, but unfortunately, we gotta wait till then. I see a thousand points right now. Although it's going up really quickly, it's not going up really fast enough as it should be. All right, so it looks like not doing so well at the education. So we'll cut back on that for the moment. All right, so I think I think it was 1.1 at the very beginning, as the ships are still being built. And also, I think I'll cut the supplies for the ships since they're not going to be being used anytime soon because we can't invade Japan without that um, extra um, cost of value being done. Increase education by a little bit for the moment. Oh yeah, we better get them troops out of there. Oh shit, I don't think they're going to be able to supply themselves. So go over here to Hong Kong instead. They'll have a better shot to supply themselves. <laughs> so they're in you over there. So I better throw you guys back over there since you're not going to be able to attack Japan anytime soon. Go up here. Actually, no, no, no. You can't support yourself. Go right there. There we go. Alright, now we'll throw some money at education again. As we're now at 60%. As we're almost nearing the end of the episode now. As we'll throw some more uh, money at education. Alright, so, okay, they're still on the move, that's right. As we got almost all the ships built. <laughs> we'll wait till the end of the year, as it's now 1837, as we'll increase money for education by a lot more. And that will end the episode off here, as we're going to try and get our education points up enough to eventually get that westernized reform to eventually become interactive so we can finally attack Japan sometime soon. So, Zane!